And even with cases on the rise, Texas is still heading toward opening more businesses by the end of this week. And as Andrea Lucia reports tonight at 10 o'clock, the decision about what to do is not so easy for some. We shut down during our busiest month. God, I mean, it's just, it's been a very unreal experience. Brad Schweig at Sunnyland Outdoor Living says for April, his warehouse is unusually full. It's a lot of inventory to have in stock right now. But the decision to reopen his stores this Friday. It's nice that we're being given choice. Isn't easy. I don't feel great about it, but I don't, the status quo is not great either. It's, it's kind of, you know, you got two bad choices and which one's the less bad one. With stay at home orders in Texas ending, local leaders are now stressing personal responsibility. I'm telling you this because now it's up to you to make good decisions. It's up to you to decide what you want to do as a business owner and a resident. Dallas County warns with the number of COVID-19 cases still climbing, smart choices can keep families and communities safe as they face more opportunities to get out of the house. I have some employees that are thrilled about coming back to work. I have some that are a little more concerned. Schweig says with competitors opening and people needing paychecks, it's hard to stay closed. He wonders now if the customers will choose to show up. Enough to keep things going, to survive. And whether the governor's decision to allow businesses to open will prove to be the right one. I guess the numbers will tell in two weeks whether it was the right choice or not. In Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.